Hi, welcome back. You're going to be needing some wall space. So clear off an area in your house or in your studio in order for you to get your mat or at least your bum up next to the wall. We'll be working with some variations of, let's call it plow, but we're going to really be showing you some nice restorative ways to release the lower back and kind of start that journey towards inversions in a very non-invasive and safe way. So if you're worried about flipping yourself upside down, if you have any, any sort of neck issues, um, just steer clear and just know that for these variations, you're going to be definitely in good hands because this is not going to be invasive on the neck and we are going to help you release the lower back and again, start getting those hips a little bit higher than the heart center. All right, so how do we get next to the wall is always a big concern. And so my suggestion is always bring yourself sideways up against the wall as close as you can. And then as you spin your legs up the wall, you're going to spin yourself down the mat. And don't worry if you're a little bit away from the wall. I just want you to be able to feel comfortable with your spine laying long and your legs totally vertical. Now, once you're here, this can be it. So if you're a teacher teaching, let's say, plow, I almost always go to the wall um, because you never know where people are at, even if it's a quote-unquote advanced class. I like to give the variations and stages so people can really tune into their bodies and not feel pressured to do something that they just don't feel comfortable doing. So this can be a great place to start. We're reversing blood flow. We're going to help with things, um, maybe swelling in the ankles, any sort of foot or back pain, and just feeling that spread of the sacrum across the floor can be quite yummy and quite relaxing. Now, Lainey could stay here with her arms at her sides, or she could even extend her arms overhead and start to feel some length through her spine. This could also be relaxation for you, resting with the legs up the wall and the arms alongside the ears, out at T or down at your sides. But Lainey's going to bring her arms back. Let's say that you just want to take this one step further and start to actually elevate the hips so there's some space in the lower back and kind of start that journey towards inversions. So bending the knees, place your feet firmly to the wall, nice deep breath, then exhale, press your hips up, and you're going to place a block, Lainey can adjust that as she needs to, underneath the sacrum. So you want to make sure you're actually at that flat plate in the lower back, which is the sacrum, not on the actual vertebrae. So you feel this great drop off in your lower lumbar, which feels amazing. And then Lainey can take her legs back up off the wall if she'd like to. She can even angle them in and kind of let them be at about a 45 degree angle or so and feel that nice massage right at the top of the sacrum as she starts to gently invert herself. Now you could stay here for a couple of breaths or several minutes depending on your level of comfort or discomfort. And so feel free again, these two variations being on the floor or on the block are a great way, a gentle way to start to step into the idea of exploring inversions without creating any harm or any sort of um, ailment or injury to the spine or the neck. Now let's say you want to take this and kind of turn this into maybe like a little bit of a bound angle for a little groin stretch. Lainey could easily take the bottoms of her feet together and slide her legs down slightly off the wall. So she feels this kind of resistance of the wall to her feet back at her torso as her legs float in space in a little bada kanasana. So just again, a nice way to soothe the hips and sacrum. How do I come out of this pose? Pressing your feet firmly into the wall, lift the hips and slide the block out from under you and then slowly roll the hips back down. Now to come completely up off the floor, taking the knees into the chest, she's gonna roll off to her side and then gently press herself up, bringing herself off the wall. All right, so if you don't have any wall space, you could at least start small and think about placing your legs up onto your couch or the legs up onto a chair. And just that act of starting to reverse blood flow at a minimum is going to be so beneficial for your heart and your overall well-being. Great job.